biodiversity loss is recognised by uh, the various actors, including the World Economic Forum, as one of the greatest systemic risks facing society. Biodiversity loss fundamentally erodes the capacity of nature to support the human economy, and there's lots of interesting ways it does this. I mean, examples in the UK would be the loss of insects and pollinators who play a really important role in regulating our farming systems. So it's absolutely essential uh, in the 21st century to work out a development pathway that doesn't keep on destroying the living world. Biodiversity is the living environment. It comes from genes to species, all the way up to ecosystems. So you can think of it as the entire living environment and how that interacts with each other. So the English government has a bunch of high level commitments to both improving nature and also infrastructure development. Um, and so they're hoping to ameliorate this trade-off by bringing in a policy called biodiversity net gain. And the idea here is that all new infrastructure projects need to leave biodiversity better off than before those projects were implemented. Uh, so my PhD was entirely funded by NERC. I mean, we realized that at the same time I was doing this PhD and studying biodiversity offsetting systems, the exact policy window was open for this new policy occurring in England. So we did a research project to learn from early adopter councils and collect data on its real world implementation to inform how the policy is going to work going forward. Urbanisation is consistently ranked as one of the main drivers of biodiversity declines in the UK um, and yet for decades hasn't had much attention from academia. I think Sophos's work has contributed to changing that and hopefully has started a, a legacy. We're here today at Chimney Meadows Nature Reserve in Oxfordshire and we recently acquired a site called Duxford Old River and that is the site of our first habitat bank. So the work that Sophos and his team have been involved in has been really useful to us because what we need to make sure of is that there will actually be local market demand to buy biodiversity units from our habitat banks in order to fund the long-term management and maintenance of those sites. Biodiversity Net Gain is a very important and very ambitious policy and it's trying to navigate some really tricky trade-offs between infrastructure and biodiversity in a way that's almost unprecedented. A lot of our work has helped inform how this should be implemented in practice and how we can improve the governance systems, especially of this on-site biodiversity net gain, so ensure that the policy as a whole gives the best outcomes.